Hey guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. Now when we talk about BMW battery maintenance, during the winter time especially, these batteries like to go dead. Now there are some signs to tell if your battery is failing. I'm gonna show you in this video just so that way you know what to look out for. And then just like with anything else, if you're storing your BMW and you're not driving as much, especially during the winter time, get yourself a trickle charger. Now the trickle charger that I'm using is by SeaTech. Now this SeaTech trickle charger works great, right? SeaTech is used by a lot of manufacturers as far as their battery chargers, that kind of stuff. I have a video of going into this and just how to use it on my BMW, which I will post that up at the top. So go ahead and check out that video so you can see more about the SeaTech battery charger. And then also jumping into what to look out for when your battery is starting to die. Now your battery will start eliminating things off that it doesn't need to power. Here's the first easy clue that your battery is slowly dying. So if you have your car locked, everything's locked, right? And you have your headlights in the auto mode, because then that will turn on your halos when you unlock your car. If you unlock your car and your halos do not come on and all doors shut and everything, that right there, first indication that your battery is slowly dying because it's taking power away because it technically does not need to power that if it needs to also power your car and a few other more important things. So that's one thing. So you're thinking, okay, you know, my halos aren't turning on, let me get in my car. Also, your side LED door lights are not gonna come on either because it doesn't need to do that. Now, next thing is once you get in your car, your mileage is reset, meaning your mileage on your dash itself and then this is your trip mileage uh, that I'm referring to that will be erased will go back to zero if that's to zero and you had your halos off when you unlocked your car your batteries on that slow verge of it may not start the next time you just turn it on or you may have a few more times and that's it so here is the BMW battery that's in your trunk uh, another place to be able to tell if it is dying or not See this little uh, kind of, it looks like a screw, but it's not. It's a see-through, and it's probably gonna be impossible to see on camera, but it is a see-through lens, and down in there, if it's a still solid good battery, meaning it still has life in it, it's gonna be green down in there. You'll see like a green glow. If not, it'll be like a red or orange or something like that, other than green, basically, uh, to signify that the battery is dying. If that's the case, get yourself a battery trickle charger, do a full charge, and then have your battery tested. So your BMW is gonna start taking those things off because it's trying to save that power. So it's something very important that you wanna see. You should be able to spot these things as well because it's out of the norm. You're gonna see like, oh, my mileage reset, or why aren't my lights on, or all that kind of stuff, especially if it's the same you know, routine that you have. But those two right there are very clear winners that you can tell from the outside, right, with the halos, that your BMW is not gonna make it that much longer. So your BMW pulls a lot of power regardless. And it's, you know, the fuel pump. It's, you know, the alarm system. It's all these different pieces that run on the car after the car is turned off. Now, once you lock it, give it about 30 minutes, it will go into kind of like a sleep mode, and that's the best that you wanna do. So even though if you store it in the garage, I always lock mine 24 seven, so that way it's always in sleep mode, and that way I know it's not utilizing the power. So BMW batteries only last, you know, that uh, four to five year time span. Sometimes they're three years, sometimes they're five years, sometimes they're six or seven years. It really all depends, and technically I guess you just get lucky because regardless of what you do, you either get really lucky and they last a long time, or you do everything that you possibly can correctly and they still uh, shorten the time period. Now, battery longevity within your BMW has a lot to do with this main point. So if you replace your battery, you have to register that battery within your DME using a proper BMW scan tool to do that. Now, I use a Barbarian Technic scan tool, which will properly do it. You have IMPA, you can use it like that. Or, you know, a BMW coder, you can do it remotely. Get your battery registered. If you don't register your battery, you're putting a new battery in your car, your IBS sensor, which is on the battery itself, thinks you still have an old battery in there. Therefore, it tells the alternator to basically overcharge it, you know, charge it more than normal, 
therefore you're going to shorten the life of your battery. So that's definitely not good and you don't want to do that. Now if you don't want to use a BMW battery, that's fine, but if it's outside of the specs of the BMW battery that you have, you have to then get it coded. So you have to get all those values coded on your car and registered. Two different things that you have to do, so you have to make sure to do both. Those are very important. So getting that battery properly coded with the right uh, specs of that battery where you got it from and then registered, you are fine. But you have to make sure to match those up, right? If they are different. Now BMW batteries are not that expensive directly through the dealer. They technically can't ship you a battery in the mail just because of the size of the battery itself. But going into your normal dealership, they're not that much. Uh, to install them. They're very easy to do that. A little time consuming just because it's just a tight space, but it's a battery, it's right in the trunk, and it's not too bad. I did it on this car when I first got it, so that was technically one of my first of many DIYs that I did. Uh, I don't have a video of that, but I'm sure before you know it, I will need a new battery. Well guys, there you have it. Some science to show that your battery is not gonna live that much longer. Just like what I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm using my SeaTech battery charger right here, trickle charger, that will maintain your battery during the winter time. If you need a full charge, you can do that. More importantly, it keeps your battery up to par when it's being parked, because like I said, it pulls a lot of power, just being off, and then when you turn it back on, just all the electronics and everything that's on this car. Well guys, thanks again, and as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check you next time, and take care.